This is the We Get Outdoors 6 in 16 interview series, where we introduce you to some of the world's leading outdoor and adventure gear brands and the brains behind them. This is your chance to get behind the scenes of a brand and know what's currently happening and what's in the future for that brand that you love. So six questions in under 16 minutes. Uh, Michael, are you ready? I am ready. Fantastic. Welcome. So, Michael, who are you <laughs> and why should we care? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm, I'm Michael Leon. I'm the inventor of the bike toe leash. Um, it is the, the, the product out there that makes it safe to bike with your dog without getting knocked off. Uh, the dog gets plenty of exercise. You can gear how much exercise you and your dog are going to get by where you ride and what you ride on. If you want your dog to get more exercise than you, than you, you put them in the grass and they can go further. Uh, the, the key is that you're going to get where you're going safely and back home together. You're not letting your dog run freely and get, uh, get mixed up with other critters out there or just get lost. They're coming home with you. Uh, you're attached to a bicycle, but not, they're not able to knock you over. The, the big key to that is to be below the center of gravity of the bike where the dog forces are applied. So if you let go of the bike and the dog pulls, the bike is going to fall away from the dog. You never want to have a bike fall on your dog for all sorts of reasons. Uh, whether they're hurt or not, they're not going to want to be near it. You're going to have a whole lot of work to do to, to get them excited about doing that activity again. Mm. So, uh, so it's important for it to be below the center of gravity. We're the only product that, that is as low, mounts as low. And uh, we also mount right at the rear axle area, um, which has its challenges with all the different types of bicycles out there, but it's worth it because when the dog lunges sideways, you not only don't tip, but they don't steer you. You can, you can control your bike and go anywhere you want to go. You can do a slalom course. You can take windy, twisty trails through the woods. Uh, you can go up and down hills, over, over jumps, all sorts of things, and the dog is not going to take you off course as long as you've got your rear wheel on the ground. So <laughs> that being said, <laughs> I have uh, done some wild things, but, but in 19 years, I've not had a dog knock me off a bike. And, Incredible. Uh, that, and so the, 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 with, with that safety record, we're the only uh, American Pet Association approved safe way to bike with a dog. Wow. So, um, so I don't know if there is anything that you can add to this next question, but what should our listeners know about Bike Toe Leash? Um, is there anything else? Well, uh, our brand is uh, not only for bicycles. It also works on all mobility equipment. So uh, if, if you're in a wheelchair, the dog can help pull you on a wheelchair. My wife's in a manual chair and, and her dog, Ray, will help pull her up ramps, which is, which is very helpful. And uh, if you're in a, on a trike, if you don't have the balance, uh, if you're an amputee or only have uh, use of, of a few fingers and you're in a power chair, you can use it. Uh, mobility scooters. All these ways. So, there, so no matter your abilities, the dog is going to get a walk or a run. Additionally, uh, we ha have our dog coupler. So if you have more than one dog, you can take more than, more than one dog on a bike toe leash. You can also put a bike toe leash on both sides of your bike, or in most, ca most cases, either side of your bike. If, if you're on the other side of the pond, you want the dog on the left. Uh, as, as we get into more twisty trails around here and two-way trails. We want them on the right so that you can uh, get your dog off to the side of the trail without having to wrap around a tree or something before your dog is safely out of the way of oncoming traffic. So uh, we're all about safety. Uh, when I started doing this, there was just the uh, bikes with steel frames. We've gone from steel frames to bikes with, with, uh, disc brakes and aluminum frames, and now even carbon frames. So we're, we're able to, to hook onto anything you've got. We make ourselves available to, to, uh, let you know what you need for your, to optimize your particular application. Uh, you can email in photos to the website. Uh, we, we can also do video chats and stuff like that to see exactly what's going on. Superb. 
So what is it that sets Bike Toe Leash apart from all those competitors out there? Well, as, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we, we mount lower than anybody and in line with, with the wheel. So those are the, the physics reasons why, why we work better. Additionally, uh, the bike toe leash has a mast to it. I can try to, to as I'm talking, move into a different uh, screen mm. that shows that. Um, here we go. So this the the you, the yellow part I'm trying to get out of the way of myself. <laughs> the yellow part there will touch the dog in the side and let the dog know exactly where the bike is. And so that it's it's a resilient barrier. It won't it there's nothing there added to the bike that's going to cause damage to your animal or yourself. There's no sharp edges, nothing nothing to poke or pinch anything, but it will touch them with about a, a pound of force into the rib area. Uh, the, the height adjust, no matter what your dog's size is, you adjust it way in the very back, right behind her heel, there's a little black area. Mm. And uh, you can adjust the height by, by twisting the clamp. And that makes it touch the dog in the side with the, with the bike vertical. And so uh, the dog knows where, that, where the bike is relative to them. So if they're coming up on a tree or something like that on a narrow trail, they can judge, am I going to fit or do I need to back off? And that mast will bend all the way to the back just just like your arm would the black piece is is like your shoulder the bent yellow part is like your elbow and then the blue part next to the to the dog is the wrist and so this will bend all the way back and uh, with a little bit of spring force and just as soon as they clear that obstacle they they are encouraged to get back into the position you see them in now and and that gives them the instant loose leash reward that you try to remember to give your dog <laughs> when you're just walking on a regular leash, it's really hard to, to instantly do that, but that's what gives them that, that, that encouragement to be there. And so, um, that's, that's the training it provides. And you also see the blue piece between the two. Uh, we are so stable and, and, uh, use the same technology of, of, letting the dog know relative with the, where they are with the bike. Well, this gives them the relative what they are with each other. And so what you do is you hook the second dog uh, to the same ring on the collar as, as, as the leash and then hook the two together. And typically you'll take the stronger pulling faster dog and put them closest to the bike. And that way that dog is the one actually doing the work. You're, you may actually be scrubbing the brakes to keep that dog from going faster than the other dog wants to go. And so everybody's getting the right amount of exercise the whole time. Wow. No wow. dog left behind. No dog left behind. I like it. It's like U.S. <laughs> Navy SEALs, but for dogs or something. It's fantastic. Exactly. Exactly. We don't want, to, we don't want them to, to be pining away at home or, or giving you bad looks that you, you left with your bicycle and, and didn't take them. Well, you're going to be more likely to with this because they like it. Cool. So tell me, Michael, what's the big secret thing that you're currently working on uh, that your customers will love? Well, everybody, everybody's getting new bicycles and upgrades. So certainly this pandemic has, has put people, more people outside, more people adopting dogs. Uh, people that have had the bike toe leash for a number of years think it's only available for the left side, which you love over there, but over here, not so much. Uh, so we've done a lot of work towards making uh, available the attachments to, to attach to, again, all bicycles, but also on the right-hand side of all of them. The, 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 the trick is that the, the, the sprockets and the chain are always on the right. And so we have to avoid those. Mm. And so we have, we have attachments for that. We have a fit chart that's in constant, uh, uh, work that, uh, you can look your bicycle up and see what it takes. If it's, if you don't find it on there again, you just contact us, send us a picture of what you have and we can tell you immediately what you need. Jeepers. That speaks of a decade plus of experience. Um, yes. Wow. Um, so you just mentioned part of this, but, uh, Michael, what do you believe the future is for the outdoors and the outdoor industry? I think it's growing. I think, uh, as, as people are, kept at home and stuff they're learning to appreciate what they have and and get out there it's 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 something you can do safely and um it it makes you appreciate what what's there uh 
and to share it with 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 your animal is is even more fun to share it with a whole family that's how i started we were we were the kids in the trailer and the dog on the bike at the same time we had a, a trailer and a tag along bike behind my bike and a dog beside me <laughs> and taking the kids to school and back and so we were about uh we were about 18 feet long <laughs> with all that going on wow. and it was it was uh, really nice that the dog helped pull me along and there were some days i thought oh the dog is slowing us down i'm not gonna take the dog today and i learned my lesson <laughs> the dog really was doing a lot of work so this, correct me if I'm wrong then, this actually increases the resistance that the dog's actually working against because if they're, if they're pulling, they're actually doing more than just driving themselves along. Yes, you can, you can decide how, how much exercise they're going to get by how much pedaling you actually do. You can place yourself in the grass and increase your rolling resistance and make it even harder for them. Typically, they come out of the gate pretty fast. We have an uphill driveway with a with a ninety degree bend at the bottom, and and the dogs will get us up to ten miles an hour before I get to the top, and then we have to immediately stop because there's traffic. So, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, they they're excited at the front end, and after 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 a mile or two, they set, you know, they settle down. I've got our black and white dog that's in our brochures and stuff. She'll pull, she's, she's uh, going to be 11 in April and she still pulls me for the first 10 miles on off-road trails. So wow. it keeps them in good shape. Wow. That's incredible. And so um, lastly, Michael, uh, what's your message to all the people out there who get out in the outdoors? Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. The, uh, the, the it's no time to have to go to the hospital, and this is a perfect way to stay safe. There's there's uh, uh, too many people that have contacted me after they've been in the hospital from from getting injured, trying this riding with other other ways. Just just with a leash in their hand is is treacherous. Uh, just don't try that. Stay safe. Um, I've, I've got a friend that, that, uh, fell off his bike while we were riding together and he was, he was not treated by the hospital because he didn't have COVID. And then later on, he had another problem and they wouldn't treat him because he did. Oh, so that's best, best to stay away from the hospitals. <laughs> I, I agree. My wife's giving birth in two weeks time and I'm dreading it because Ooh. that's, that's a unavoidable, uh, hospital trip. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm sure you're going to stay safe, though. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. Awesome. So, folks, I want to encourage you all to go and check out Michael and Bike Toe Leash. Um, if you've got a dog, go exercise it and use this, and please stay safe. You can find all of the descriptions for their social media and websites and everything else in the link beneath here. Um, and, Michael, thank you for your time today, and I hope 2021 is a epically successful year for Bike Toe Leash. Thank you so much. Thank you.